Did I lean back too fast for you? Hey guys, a happy Saturday. Welcome back to the uh, weekly home fragrance roundup. Um, Alf and I are here to share the candles and wax melts from the last week. And um, I'm going to give you guys a disclaimer up front. I have decided in my infinite wisdom that it's, um, it's a good idea to do a little bit of a sugar detox. Um, I have had a little bit of an addiction to candy for a while. It started back in December when all of like the holiday sweets and cookies and treats started coming out. And I have been consuming so much sugar. And so I've decided to go cold turkey. And I have to admit, like, I'm struggling. <laughs> I did not think that you could have withdrawals from stopping eating excessive amounts of candy and sweets and, you know, drinking sugary juices and things like that, but it's, it's happening. I feel so off, um, to, I felt off for the last few days since I've started this. And, um, so please bear with me. I don't think my brain is working quite as well as I would like it to. So um, yeah, just just bear with me. And if you are also on a journey of stopping sugar, can we form a support group? Because man, I miss my peach rings. <laughs> I miss all of my Haribo candies. Alfie, come on, buddy. So yeah, just if I miss things, if I misspeak, I just truly... I'm not all there because all I want to do is go to Cost Plus World Market and raid the candy section, but yeah, it's going to be fine. <laughs> it's going to be a rough couple weeks, but it's going to be fine. All right, uh, let, let us suck it up. Let me suck it up. And Alf and I are going to share, oh my God, you guys, he is absolutely killing me. He's just sitting here like in my lap looking up at me with his little head on his paws he's so cute anyway um let's talk about wax melts let's talk about candles let's talk about what i had in my crocs underneath my lamps all the things so i'm gonna start with my candle lamp that i have in my office and this week i decided to start warming some of my homeworks candles underneath my candle lamp um, if you don't know what a candle lamp is, I will link my candle lamp 101 video in the description box down below. Hopefully I remember to do this. Um, I will also link the candle lamp that I have, which is fantastic. I know a lot of you guys have picked it up as well. <clears throat> I picked mine up on Amazon. The first one, um, the company from Amazon that is selling it on there actually sent it to me and then I bought another one. Um, I This candle lamp is wonderful. First of all, it has like an adjustable head. So no matter what candle you have, um, whether it's a Yankee or a Goose Creek or a Bath and Body Works or um, even like the smaller, just like one wick candles that you sometimes find at like Home Goods or TJ Maxx, like you can adjust the the lampshade up and down to fit whatever candle. Um, Kringles also fit underneath this lamp. It has a dimmer, it has a timer, um, it has a really nice long cord, and it's just fantastic. I love this thing. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than some of the other candle lamps that are out there, but um, I think the extra features really make it much more usable with a wider variety of candles and the replacement bulbs. I actually just bought my first box of replacement bulbs and I got those on Amazon as well. And I think I paid like $10.99 for six of them. So um, I'll link the replacement bulbs down below as well in case you need to know which ones they are. So um well, yeah, okay, back to homeworks. Yeah, so uh, white sangria is the one that I'm melting, and it is fabulous. So the wicks on the white sangria from homeworks are atrocious. Like, everyone that has purchased this candle pretty much knows that. Um, I don't know what happened with those wicks, but they just are not working for this particular fragrance. But the fragrance itself is so heavenly. I love it. 
So warming it, oh my gosh, it's perfect, you guys. It um, now the the pool of wax melt does not get as deep, um, but I get a ton of fragrance. Um, I think the reason that it doesn't get quite as deep is because obviously a homeworks candle has a much larger opening than say like a country candle and these are the same types of jars by the way that you get from yankee that you get from um goose creek all those companies so um there is a much smaller opening here and the uh there is a full wax pool across the top but i find that it doesn't get as deep that's fine um it's working great and i have not poured off any wax yet and i've been pretty much uh, having it on the four hour timer option every single day this week and I'm still getting a ton of fragrance out of that like original wax pool if that makes sense so um, loving that in my crocs I have um, there are some country candles that are currently in my crocs that I already have reviews ready to go for and those reviews are going to be going up probably tomorrow. Um, I have a lot of reviews, you guys. I was filming reviews like crazy this week. And so now I'm just trying to like get them up as quickly as possible. I am still doing the two a day upload on like home fragrance days here on my channel. So tomorrow you will see a review of strawberry mint tart from country candle as well as cotton candy clouds. Those are both now being finished up in my candle crocs. Um, and I explain in the video, um, why, why I'm doing that um and then in uh do I have I'm not using no I'm not using the crock in my filming room upstairs so I don't have anything going in that one um what else so those are all the crocks let's do candles all right so burning behind me here is uh I, I received a uh, a small PR package from Homeworks I'm always up front when I get PR from companies um I don't get a ton of stuff from Homeworks just so you guys are aware um the bulk of what I show here on my channel from Homeworks I purchase myself either from QVC or from the Homeworks website um but they do sometimes send me just a few things so I got some of the new reed sticks and um some of the new candles that are going to be released on QVC coming up here. I've already started burning them so that I can hopefully get you guys reviews um, as soon as they launch. One of them is already available, I believe. I think I think this one's available already. Um, this is Coastal Sands. Um, so I started burning that and I will get you guys a review um, hopefully early on this next week, maybe on Tuesday. And then burning behind me here is the sparkling citrus. Um, these scents are really, really summery and they're just really lovely. I'm enjoying them. Where's the other one? Oh, this one here. Um, this is this is the other one that they sent. Um, the coconut lychee. Now, I only received the PR samples. When you order from QVC, I believe that they will be in a set of two. So you'll get two of the same. Um, this is the coconut lychee or lychee. Um, I shared a little bit of uh, these when uh, when I received them over on Instagram the other day. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I do sometimes share some thoughts on candles and stuff over there. But in full disclosure, my Instagram is mostly just like fun personal life stuff and not so much candle or um, beauty related content. From time to time, I do post like specific sales there and things like that to let you guys know, but it's mostly just, this is my life type of situation. All right, coconut lychee, I think is my favorite out of the ones that they sent, although even this coastal sands, so the notes on coastal sands are salted sand, beach rose, bergamot, bergamot waters and neroli. This is heavy on the neroli and it is really nice. If you like that orange blossom scent, you're going to be a fan of that. And then the coconut lychee is coconut water, lychee blossoms, passion flower, and refreshing melon. Mm. And these are all burning quite well. Um, the wicks on all of them, by the way, looked like they were different. Um, not having any issues with those. And I wish I could give you the notes on that, but it's actually currently lit. So can't really flip that over for you but the sparkling citrus has a really nice refreshing citrus scent not cleaner citrus which is something that I was afraid of when I first opened the box I was like oh 
I hope this doesn't smell like pine salt or something. It does not. I can assure you of that. So anyway, reviews of those are coming. Um, I have been burning through some more of my Bath & Body Works candles that I recently picked up. Um, by the way, there is a $12.95 candle sale this weekend, and I actually have a 25% off coupon. So I think I might go in store. I need some, I need some more hand washes anyway. And then I was going to pick up just a couple more candles, um, some fragrances that I'm curious about. Uh, they are starting to release a lot more of like the spring and summer, like floral tropical fragrances at this point. And I am trying to see if I can find a repackage or if I don't, I haven't looked at the website, but the pink sands and petals fragrance that I loved so much. Um, this one, Ooh, there it is. Sorry. Alf is trying to, um, build himself a nest in my lap, but I want to see if they have either the pink sands and petals or a new version of this one out. Um, I finally finished it by the way. Mm. And there's also a bug in here. <laughs> At least he went out smelling like a million bucks, right? Like, mm, I love this scent. Now it is tainted, of course, with corpse um, of, what was this, some kind of mosquito or something? Anyway, finish this, delightful. Uh, back to Bath & Body Works and their sale. So it's a $12.95 candle sale, which is rare. That's rare these days. So I figure if I want some, if I'm curious about some of these scents in terms of like, you know, reviewing them. In all honesty, most of them will probably end up in my candle crocks or underneath my lamp. That's fine. I feel like I get my money's worth out of the out of the candles still that way, so I'm okay with that. And I might just get to the point where I just automatically pop all of my Bath & Body Works candles underneath the candle lamp because I do think I actually get m more fragrance or a longer time with the fragrance when I do that um, because a lot of these scents are burning pretty pretty quickly these days so their range for burn is 25 to 45 hours which by the way is like the most dramatic range 25 to 45 hours what what, what did it say back in the day did it even have it no not seeing that here they did not give a range on this what about well, this is a newer one too, so 25 to 45 hours, yeah, eh, eh, whatever. Anyway, uh, I've been burning this, need to review this. I actually really like this, although it's not quite as strong as I thought it would be, but I really, really like this fragrance. Um, it does have the infamous tree stump wicks. <laughs> so far, it's doing fine. There is no, there's no soot or anything like that, um, but... We all know how that goes. I do really love the lids that came with this one, this nice glass. I, I'll probably end up keeping this. This I think is really pretty, so uh, I don't know. Pretty. Uh, but pink Prosecco frosting here. That's that's what we're talking. So pink sugared buttercream, fresh blackberries, chilled Prosecco. This is nice. I love this. That's delightful. And I really love this. I think I might be very, I think I might be buying a backup of this if it's still in stock. It might be. I'll have to go. I don't know. I'll, I'll go look this weekend. Raspberries and whipped vanilla. Mmm. Yes, I love this. This is nice. Um, so I, st I still haven't done reviews of these two. These will be other reviews that I'll put up next week at some point. I'm telling you, you guys, I just, I have so many, like, in the pipeline, and I'm trying to, like, get them all done. Um, pink raspberries, strawberry vanilla bean, sugared lemon drops. Yeah, this is so nice. I these two definite like I would repurchase these two even if they're just to melt them um cuz they smell so good. Big fan. Huge huge fan. <clears throat> what else have I been burning? Ah, uh, you guys, I finished another one of my beloveds. I love this scent. I if you just try one thing from Kringle Candle over the course of this summer, um, this is one of my favorite new scents, and this is always a really good performer for me. This is their Sicilian Orange. If you like the Nest Sicilian Tangerine, you should give this the old college try because it is just as heavenly. They're very similar scents. I love this one. It's a really fresh, juicy orange with like a slight hint of like an herbal note running through it. So beautiful. Just absolutely perfect. I love it. 
and well, I finished another one, so this is gonna go in my empties. Um, also finished ooh, a couple more candles. Hold, please. Are you okay there, buddy? <laughs> Here, this is this is where he has. Okay. Oh, oh, geez. Sorry, guys. So he's here, and I'm trying to film. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, sorry, it's the Hot Mess Express today. Um, finished my pink lemon shortbread, which <laughs> the review's ready to go. So maybe, maybe I'll put this one up after this video. I don't know. I have two, okay, maybe I'll put this, I'll put these up on Monday. I have these two reviews ready to go for you guys. The pink lemon shortbread. She was light. <laughs> I was disappointed in the strength and throw of this one, so just prepare yourself. But um, I want Harry to keep this fragrance in the lineup, though, and to just beef it up because it's a fantastic scent, but it just didn't perform super great for me. So spoiler alert there. Um, and the spoiler alert for this delightful beauty here is I love it. No issues with this one, and she's done now, too. So, But the reviews... They're coming. Um, I'll probably put those up on Monday. Apricot Nectar and Wild Berry. This one I had to buy from QVC. I don't think this one is ever going to come to the Homeworks shop. Don't quote me on that. Um, it could if there's like a miracle or something, but I do th still think that Harry is releasing most of the stuff over on QVC and then um, there is a little bit of overlap between Homeworks shop and QVC and then there are some things that are just on Homeworks shop. So interesting way to go about it. I'm not sure what the what the reasoning is for not offering everything in both places. I'm sure there is some kind of agreement with QVC for a certain amount of products that are to go directly to QVC. Um, there's all, probably all sorts of business stuff that's happening. Also, uh, still getting into my country candles here. This one I think is now ready for a review. Um, this is the country candle dragon fruit lemonade. If you're a dragon fruit fan, <laughs> here we go. It's going to start going downhill. I can feel it now. I think I need to go eat a salad or something. I need some nutrition. Um, yeah, a nice little, a nice little pile of lettuce would probably do me some good right now. Country candle dragon fruit lemonade. If you love dragon fruit, this is, this is really nice, and it's a really good performer for being a paraffin candle. I don't love the paraffin. You guys know this, but these, these do quite well. Now, the Cotton Candy Clouds, I'll spoil that one for you guys, too. Very little strength or throw out of that one. Um, but Strawberry Mint Tart, great. So, yeah. Anyway, look for a review of this coming up here shortly. Another Homeworks candle that I have been burning. This one in my office. Happy birthday. Mm, I love this one. It's really nice. Um, I don't know that I would like stock up on this one, but I'm really enjoying it. And it's like the perfect strength and throw for my office. It also travels outside of the office as well. The office is the room behind me here. So, but it's like closed off with French doors. So, um, a lot of times whatever I put in there just kind of like stays within that room. Um, but this one is, it's traveling out. So that's good. Um, Let's talk wax melts, you guys. I have strawberry mint tart from Country Candle. So this, these Country Candles are, these Country Candle wax melts are good for a day. And then they just kind of die out for me. Um, I don't think it's a case of going nose blind. Um, I think it's just like after a day, the fragrance oils are kind of spent. I put these in all of my 25 watt Sensi warmers um, and uh, they do quite well in terms of strength and throw in the 25 watt Sensi warmers but then again after a day like I said just they're done and it's fine I mean if you can get these on sale and then also include that 15% discount code um, I do have a discount code with Kringle um, I'll put the information down below it's an affiliate code so don't use that if you're not comfortable there's also one for homeworks Oh, that's right. And there was new stuff that was dropped on the Homeworks website. I have a discount code with them too. And there's a sale happening this week. <laughs> Check out the description box, you guys. I'll try to make sure to take a little bit more time with it to make sure that I don't miss anything. That's also an affiliate code, so don't use it if you're not comfortable with it. But anyway, love the smell. 
the strawberry mint tart. I want to see strawberry mint tart come into the soy formula. I would really love that. That would be something that I would be a big fan of. <laughs> Aloe water and cucumber. Um, this is what I've been warming in my downstairs uh, powder room here for weeks now. This is one of my strongest performers, and it also is the wax melt that lasts the longest for me from Scentsy. I will typically change this wax out on Monday, and um, I'm good for at least at least four or five days. So it seems to last the longest out of most of my Scentsy wax melts. On average, I change my Scentsy wax every three days. Um, I don't necessarily have to with certain scents, but I've just gotten into the habit of, even if I can still smell it, I change it because I just change all of the wax melts at once type of thing. So anyway, I love this one. If you like fresh, clean, um, spa, zen type fragrances, this would be one that I would definitely encourage you to try. Um, oh, hold please. There we go. Um, Lemon drizzle cake. Oh, I love lemon drizzle cake. So this is from the Scentsy Easter collection. This smells like a lemon cake. Not like a lemon bar, definitely like a lemon cakiness. I really like this one a lot. I will say, this is a two days max kind of wax melt. After two days, I can't smell anything. So it's definitely one that you need to change out a little bit more often, but on the opposite end of the spectrum, the Raspberry Lollipop from the collection lasts longer. This is easily three to four days for me. And I love this one the most. It's a, it is a very sweet candied raspberry fragrance. Love that. And my least favorite is the Blueberry Burst because it's a very artificial blueberry. It's not awful. Um, and it's something that Stella actually really likes. It just, it smells... To me, it smells very artificial, um, like a fake blueberry scent. I think I have smelled better from Scentsy uh, in terms of blueberry. And I'm trying to, what is it? The Aladdin Three Wishes. That one has like blueberry in it. And that one is delightful. Love that. Okay. Ooh, I love this. Pink rhubarb sugar. I could buy just like a six pack of this. This is actually somewhat similar to the raspberry lollipop. They have that kind of sweet candy type note. Um, and there is a little bit, the rhubarb does have a bit of like a tang and a slight bitterness to it, but not in a bad way. Oh, sir, did you wake up? <laughs> he woke up. Um, but this is one that, uh, oh, I don't, this might be club worthy, you guys. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to stick it in my club, but I know that before this catalog goes, this spring summer catalog goes away, this is one that I would stock up on for the following spring and summer. That's, that's how I would handle that situation. And then we have one more wax melt here, the Kringle Candle Beautiful Day, which is a beautiful fragrance. Actually shares, to my nose, there's some similarities just in terms of like uh, the type of fragrance with the aloe water and cucumber, it's a clean, fresh, um, zen, but slightly outdoorsy type of fragrance. It's really nice. It's soft, it's pretty, it's clean, it's fresh. Yeah, it's just very relaxing to my nose. Like this is something that I would warm in a bathroom when I was taking a bath, you know, for relaxing and whatnot. All right, you guys, I'm going to cut it off here. I'm going to go make myself a salad and continue down this path towards leading a sugar-free, uh, it's not going to be a sugar-free lifestyle, but I just, I, you know how sometimes you just take a look at your diet and you're like, this is a train wreck. You got to stop doing this. <laughs> I reached that point and um, yeah, it's all, this, is, this is always what happens when I decide to get on the old health train. It just really kind of hits me hard for a couple weeks, but then once I get into the new habits and the new diet, I feel like a million bucks. So I just need to get, I just need to get to the million bucks stage because I know it's gonna be amazing and hopefully I don't fall off this wagon again. I probably will at Christmas and it's fine. It's just, it's a cycle. <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> 
Anyway, thanks for putting up with all of this today. There wasn't even any makeup. There is just nothing happening that is super productive today. So have a great rest of your weekend, you guys. Stay tuned for all of those candle reviews. They, they are coming, I promise. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Doodle.